That the state's education is Julius Ogamba, not Ezekiel. Now, away from that, the Kenya Union of Post Primary Education Teachers, COPET, today held a nationwide teachers' strike, paralyzing plans for the reopening of schools. Among those affected by the strike are JSS teachers who fear job losses as a result of the industrial action, not to mention the parents of students in secondary school who are dismayed because majority of them had paid school fees and were prepared to return their children to class. Anastasia Mukabi reports. These are pictures of several primary schools in the country as teachers from Giant Union Nat went back to the classrooms and learning commenced. However, some teachers were in a dilemma, especially those handling junior secondary, torn between joining a strike that is, among other things, pushing for their rights or giving the government time to effect its promises to cater to their needs, all the while fearing the loss of their jobs. According to us as intern teachers, we support the strike, but now since we are interns, we are not on permanent uh, we are not registered to any union and now we are fearing to go out there to Jiunge na Kupet. Last time you saw that uh, intern teachers, they striked, giving their grievances that they are supposed to be uh, confirmed to permanent and pensionable terms. But when they were crying for their rights, most of them, their contracts were terminated. The GSS intern's contract will expire on 31st August this year and the government has not issued any directive, at least not yet. The government is not communicating, uh, even the TSC, how to ambi, what to do, how to do it, unafanya nini, we are just here. On the other hand, Kupet members proceeded with their strike today to voice their concerns and grievances, a situation that caused distress among secondary school parents who were prepared to take their children back to school. Waweze kurudi na ku, ku, kuanzia ili watoto wetu waweze kunufaika katika mhura huu wa mwisho wa tatu. Now parents and students fear that if the strike continues, there will be changes in the school calendar. Anastasia Mkabi, TV 47.